And hello again, everyone. I am in one of the most unusual places I have ever visited for more than a year of our journeys. We are still in Tepebash village, and I am actually in a private property that can count as a private ethnography museum. Also, we've got loads of antiquities on display. This is the house of Mr. Rasim Satrazam. I want you to watch this place. Now I'll take a video, but I will post more details and more pictures later on, on our page. Believe me, it's not enough time to take a video with everything that exists on this amazing property. So now we'll have a short walk around. Absolutely everything you see has a meaning. The owner of the place says everything has even a personal meaning for himself. If you ever come to this place, you can ask a question about any of these objects and he will tell you what the object is and what's the meaning for him. So we even have antique bottles. He has a collection of stones, some local, some from abroad. Look at these crystals here. It's really amazing. This is an old farming tool from the times when there were no engines so no tractors yeah so this used to be pulled by oxes and this is how people were farming their land more stones this piece here is absolutely amazing. This rock that now is used as a table has a personal meaning for the owner of this place. A collection of cacti. A very old bicycle. This man collects almost everything inside his property, so inside his house, he's got thousands, I'm not exaggerating, thousands of newspaper collections, books. He told me he's got a plan of opening a library in Tepebash village, so um, I have asked him to stay in touch with me. And whenever this opening will happen, I will very much want to come and uh, make a recording and take pictures with what will be in this library. So I repeat, we are in Tepebashi on a private property that is also a private ethnography museum and a private collection. Even these these billboards you see here, even these are important for the owner of this place. We have spent probably two hours on this property, not only in the garden, asking loads of questions on what is what, but also inside this gentleman's house where again, there are thousands, thousands of objects, collectible objects. So not only did we check, um, you know, the, the museum pieces, but we've also heard stories, interesting stories, which I will write about later on our page. So you have to come to this place one day. Uh, the only problem is this gentleman doesn't speak English. So if you're willing to come here and do what we did, ask questions about 
different items, rocks, stones, pieces of glass, metal or whatever, you will have to have someone that speaks Turkish with you because otherwise you'll miss a lot from the history of this place and of its items. So goodbye for now. We'll see you later in another video. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much for having us today. This Thank is you. the gentleman. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll see each other again at the opening of the library. Bye.